guys welcome back to my channel today I am gonna be sharing with you guys my weekly meal prepping today is Sunday and on Sundays I try to prep meals for my entire family for most of the week we are not good at cooking during the week because both my husband and I do work and we don't get home until about 5 30 at night and so it's just better if we have meals that are easy and ready to go we also meal prep breakfast and lunch for the entire week for all three of us so it's a lot of cooking all in one day, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like, I found my purpose. Uh... First up for weekly meal prepping this week is I'm gonna be cooking my husband his scrambled eggs for the week. So I'm gonna start with this sausage. He likes the hot kind of sausage. He likes some extra kick in it. I'm just gonna brown up the sausage. I do like to put some butter, some chili powder, and some crushed red peppers in with it while it cooks. And I'm gonna let that cook and get the spinach started to mix in with it as well. I'm just gonna take some fresh baby spinach. We like to use organic spinach. And I'm gonna take about a cup of spinach and I'm gonna put it in the food processor and blend it up really finely. My husband does not like large chunks of spinach, but as long as they are small enough, he says he can't even tell. So. While the sausage is cooking, I'm just going to blend up all the spinach to put into the eggs. It looks like so much less spinach after it's blended up, am I right? <laughs> After the sausage is done cooking, I'm just going to remove it from the pan and put it in a bowl and set it aside until I'm ready to add it to the eggs. So we always use these cage-free brown eggs. For some reason, they're just our favorite, so that's what we use. And I, I do about 20 to 22 eggs, just kind of depending. He likes to have at least 20, but sometimes eggs stick to the pan, so I usually try to do 21 or 22. Anyways, I'm just cracking a whole lot of eggs here and throwing them into this large bowl. And then I'm gonna add some chili powder, some crushed red peppers, and some pepper, and mix that all together. And now I'm gonna take some butter and I'm gonna melt that in the same pan that I used to cook the sausage. I didn't clean it or anything. The bacon grease, or I'm sorry, the sausage grease just gives it some extra flavor. So I'm just gonna let that butter melt before I pour the eggs in. And then I just pour my egg mixture in once the butter is all melted and coating the pan. And then I'm just gonna kind of stir this occasionally as it cooks. Since it is so many eggs, it does take a little bit of time to actually finish cooking. Once it is almost done, about this consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and add in everything else. So I take the sausage and I add in most of the sausage. I leave a little bit out for if Charlie or I wanna have eggs with sausage someday this week. And then I'm also gonna throw the spinach in and mix those around. And once those are all mixed, I'm gonna throw in a whole lot of cheese.
And then not last but not least, I do just throw in a few more crushed red peppers at the very end to mix those in because my husband loves him some spice. And that is it for the eggs. I'm then gonna take these jalapeno cheese sausages that my husband gets that he likes, and I'm gonna put one of these in each of the five Tupperware dishes that I have out for my husband's breakfast this week. And then I'm also going to scoop the eggs and just divide it evenly among these five Tupperware for him. And this will be my husband's breakfast every day this week. He'll just top the eggs with a little bit of hot sauce after he warms them up, and that's his breakfast. Next up, we are going to preheat the oven to get some chicken started for my salad. So I just preheated it 425. Then we use these Tyson's Grill Ready Chicken Breast. I really like these. They taste good, and they're basically done. You just gotta heat them up, which is nice and handy. So I'm just gonna put about three of these on a cooking sheet. And then I'm going to put some chili powder, seasoning salt, and pepper on them. Um, and this time I also added some chili powder and a few crushed red peppers as well. Um, I mix up the seasonings that I put on these. I always put garlic powder and Lowry seasoning salt and pepper, but the others I mix up occasionally. While we're waiting for the oven to finish preheating, we are gonna move on to some crock pot chicken for Charlie and I to have for dinner some this week. So I'm just gonna throw in a crock pot liner and then I've shown this recipe recently in my like four dump and go crock pot meal So I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail. Basically, I just am doing some Italian chicken So I'm just throwing some Italian seasoning in a pan with some chicken breast and some butter and cooking it up for a while I think six hours four to six hours something like that um, Go watch my dump and go recipes to get the full recipe I'm just getting this cooked up while I am waiting for the oven to preheat Once my oven is preheated, I'm just gonna put my chicken breast in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then when they've cooked for 10 minutes, I'm gonna take them out and flip them over. Now we are moving on to Charlie's breakfast for the week. I'm gonna be making him some French toast. So I'm just getting some butter on a pan and get that melting, and then I'm gonna crack three eggs into a bowl and I'm gonna add a little bit of his ripple pea milk and some cinnamon and mix that all together. And then I'm gonna dip a piece of bread in there and put that on the pan to cook. Once those are done cooking, I'm just gonna put some butter on them while they're still warm so that the butter can melt and soak into the toast. And by this time, our chicken is done and ready to be pulled out of the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna flip it all over and season the other side and then stick it back in for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna use this organic makeable syrup and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my son's French toast into bite-sized pieces and put it into some Tupperware for him to take for breakfast at school. He gets dropped off at school pretty early, 
between 7 and 7.20 usually. And they do breakfast at school at 7.45. So I usually send him some breakfast to school if he's hungry in the morning before we leave and I'll give him like a little bit of fruit or something. But then he eats his main breakfast at school. So I'll send him eggs or French toast or pancakes or something like that to school to eat. Now our chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of the oven. And here are Charlie's French toast. Um, I only had three of these small containers, so I have three of them ready, and then I'll do the other two later in the week. So the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and cut that up. I'm gonna cut two of the pieces up completely, and I'm gonna use those for salads, for two days worth of salads for me. chicken in the Tupperware I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my lettuce I'm gonna take this organic baby spinach the same kind I used for my husband's um, eggs and I'm gonna pull off the stems because I don't like the texture of the stems, so I pull always pull those off and I'm gonna go ahead and put some spinach in both of these and then I'm also going to add some lettuce to it as well and then some cheese on top of the chicken to take chickpeas and black olives so I'm just gonna put those in a separate tiny container to take for my lunch I don't like putting all this together because I don't like the lettuce to get soggy so if you're wondering why they're all separate that's why and I'm gonna take some blue cheese crumbles with me and also an avocado and a knife and I'm gonna put that all in my lunchbox and that is my lunch now we are moving on to my husband's lunch for this week he happens to be making um, bunless burgers so he's, he's just got about two and a half pounds of hammer meat there and he's putting some pepper some crushed red pepper some chili powder some garlic powder and some Worcestershire sauce and then four ounces of cream cheese and he's gonna mix that all together and make them into patties of course and then we are gonna cook those in the oven I believe he cooks them on 350 for until they look done. He doesn't really have a specific time. He just does it until they look done. <laughs> are done cooking we just let them cool and then we'll put them in Tupperware and he'll put a piece of cheese on them and a pickle and he'll take those to work for lunch this week our Italian chicken is also done now so I'm just gonna put this in some Tupperware and Charlie and I can eat it this week for dinner with some sort of vegetable green beans or something like that if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you guys in our next one. Bye y'all.